everybody, Beth here, and today I wanted to do a very quick video doing my obligated YouTuber Garton of Ban Ban related video before it fades off into the distance, hopefully. Um, for those who don't know, Garten of Ban Ban and its sequel, Garten of Ban Ban 2, and the third one that's coming out in probably about three weeks, let's be fair, um, is a recent game series from the Euphoric Brothers in which you enter a, a liminal space-esque kindergarten trying to find your kid and the mascots are trying to kill you and there's like some weird experimentation and stuff and your kid's probably dead. That's that's pretty much the big one. It's like your kid's probably already dead. You're just kind of here killing time. Let's be real. Um, now... As somebody who has worked in childcare, a horror game themed around a daycare or a kindergarten, that would make sense. That would there are a lot of cool ways you could go with that. Unfortunately, we did not get that with Batan of Ban Ban. Um it is if it was somebody's first game, okay, there'd be some leeway. If it was like if the games continued to be free, okay. I could buy that. If they made more than just the monsters as their assets, I'd be more inclined to be generous with. And among other awful things that they've done, I'd be a little bit more generous had they not done some of the awful things. But, you know, is what it is. They've unfortunately hit the YouTube algorithm and are getting the consequences of that. But, in the meantime, it's neither here or there. Let's talk about the game. The game story sucks. Let's just be real. There is really no reason for you to be there. There is, like, outside of trying to find your kid. We're just kind of walking around. Walking around. Casually walking around as we're trying. We're getting chased down by the mascots that we really don't know anything that much about. Hashtag bird up. And so on and so forth. I saw this. There's some bits of convoluted lore peppered in there. And I took a look at this and one day and I thought, I could do a good story based on that. That would be a challenge. And so here it is. A quick summation of how I would have written Gotten a Ban Ban. In the magical universe, next to the universe where the meatly kicked down my door and was like, yo, write Bendy and Showdown for me. The Euphoric Brothers were like, hey. Write the story of Ban Ban. Bon Bon. Write Gatan for us. And so on and so forth. Like with Bendy and the Showdown Bandit one, I'm not claiming to be a better writer than the Four Brothers. Um, if there, if this is just kind of a long, long Kong kind of thing where it's like, oh, it's actually going to have a really tell of a story once everything's put together. Cool. Um, this is just a quick thing of like, hey, this is a cool idea for a horror game. So, I mean, if you do take this idea and we're like, you see this and I was like, hell yeah, that's a horror game I need to make. Have at it. Just like, you know, send people my way. Be like, yo, I took this idea from this YouTuber I found online. And then like, little link in my for my YouTube page or whatever. Or like, you know. Put a cartoon character I drew in there. Hey. <laughs> Anyways, shameless plug aside, this is the, this is how I would do the Gotten Up Ban Ban story. Starting off our little world building, Gartons of Ban Ban, Ban Ban Scotten is advertised and is specialized as a, the childcare facility for little kids, for the affluent, for the wealthy, for got more money than sense. This is kind of like Cope's Peak Academy from the Dungarumpa series, where it's like only the elite of the elite of the elite can get in. But it's like, you know, once you're in there, your kid's basically a Harvard grad. It's going to be perfectly fine. Leaders changing of the world, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, there'd be a lot of advertisements and stuff regarding for this kindergarten and stuff. And then also mentioning that there's also lotteries. 
every once in a while they will have a lottery situation where some random person gets to have a free scholarship for like a year or two. And you, your character, your player character is one of the winners. So, um, you get some info, you put in a little bit of your information that's kind of like the, hey, this is your, this is you signing up for the, um, the lottery. So you'd have your name. What you, are you the father, the mother, etc. And then the name of your kid. Obviously, there'd be certain limitations. Limitations so you don't send insert dirty joke here to school, school or whatever, and some details in that will play a part later. So you get your first cutscene after, hey, you're the winner, come to blah 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 and blah 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 blah. Yay! So you get your first cutscene where you see your little kid. Um, head off, run into the building, run off to go play with their friends who are, and the other kids, and check out this really cool mascot that's playing around with them. Really fluid, really cool, as you are redirected to the office. Yay, cool. And the reason I mentioned this cutscene in particular is because once we get to our little twist part, it comes a little bit more important. So you come in, you enter the office, you see the principal there. Big dude, you know, yay, smiley face and everything. He, you know, he offers you a drink. He's whatever starts talking about. Oh, yeah, here at the Gotham, we want to make sure that these kids are well taken care of. We want to make sure everything's good. You know, we just got to ask you a few questions. And, um, oh, by the way, watch out for the, the wood plank that's about to go upside your head. What a boy, what? Slap! <laughs> And you're blacked out. Um, you wake up in an underground facility, and your basic goal is to GTFO and find your kid again. And you also find out that the reason why got the Gotan is so well done and so well received is because um they take a little bit of percussive maintenance when it comes to the parents. <laughs> Over the course of the story and adventure and stuff, while you're avoiding some of the more monstrous aspects of the mascots and filling out these tasks, you're also being quizzed on your kid. And, you know, how much of a good parent are you? <laughs> More or less. And you kind of uncover the lore of, like, originally Garden Bam Bam was this really small kindergarten, and the teachers were doing their best, but they weren't, they were basically between a rock and a hard spot. They were expected to be the parent, the teacher, caregiver, and everything, and not having the resources, nor the parents letting them be it. Basically, they got stuck with a lot of Karens. And boy, did the Karens like them. So, in particular, one of the um, students had a very rough relationship with their fam family and their father in particular, who was kind of eccentric sciencey dude. And the teachers tried to help. Dad doesn't take too kindly to that, tries to do some weird science. And long story short, um, dad ends up becoming one of the mascot characters. And the son's like, you know what? I can work with this. And essentially this, the scientist's kid Basically creates the Gatan, the Gatan, the Ban Ban, to basically separate the asshole parents from the decent parents. And obviously some of your choices will affect whether or not you get to stay at the Gatan, or if you, you know, you stay at the Gatan, or if you um, are able to go home with your kid. Obviously there's some really weird plot holes, but world building whatever we can just say it's rich fancy people and the rich problems <laughs> so you go through it you feel, you get to meet some of the rejected mascot characters um some of the mascot characters like maybe there's um some lore building up with like Ophelia bird and Ophelia you know 
you know, like she was one of the teachers that the mad scientist got a hold of, or she's, you know, she was, she was a parent that was kind of an asshole, but actually has kind of gone through the character arc and is actually trying to help you. And is like, Hey, this might be misunderstanding, you know, Usually that lotto is rigged, so what the hell are you doing here? And then as the story progresses, you kind of start to unravel your own character story, in which turns out you as single parent had, did not get very lucky in the partner, and the lotto was actually meant for your significant other, not you. You just happened to be the one who was uh, who had the kid that time, and whoopsies but eventually you you make it through and the idea at least for me is that he kind of ends up you know almost in a weird kind of alice in wonderland kind of situation where you you survive you you make it you beat the final boss and then you're back in the office as the door opens and your kid's there and it's like oh yeah this is great i can't wait to play with my friends again blah 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 blah, blah, blah. and you're not entirely sure whether or not you just had the weirdest acid trip of your entire fucking life, or they're really good at hiding the fact that they fucked with you. Now, obviously, if you manage to be horrible, you're you did. But um, yeah. Um. So that and it's basically that's the gist. So like the cutscene at the beginning, you see your kids jacket whatever color they're wearing you'd be asked that as like kind of like the first easy question and then you get to roll on into the crazy so it's kind of this idea has kind of become a weird mash between baton baton and baldi's basics instead but instead of like having to go find journals while running away from a bald teacher you're passing these tests in order to get back to your kid and oh by the way there's a bunch of crazy mascots trying to stab you or eat you or whatever. <laughs> Not fun times for yourself. But yeah, that's kind of my quickest um thrown together. Hey, this is what Garden how would I do the story of Katan Nabanban? I'm having way too much fun actually saying that name. But yeah. So uh feel free to leave your own comments down below about like, oh, this is a really cool story, or this is an awful story, or Man, I can't believe five seconds of this. More work or whatever comments or whatever. Um, leave your own suggestions of how you'd write the story. Um, if you would like to see me tackle other games stories in this weird dramatic flair I do. Um, yeah, feel free to leave comments down below. Dogs being dramatic. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!